we're uh, on the Mamors in Glen Nevis and uh, we're currently in Schist and we'll be moving up into the quartzite uh, as we go up the hill. But here is a really nice example of crenulation cleavage in the schist. And that is where you start off with normal cleavage, which would have been like this. So that would have been compression like this. And then the compression direction changes to being like this, and they crumple. So you can see all of these little crumples, these tiny micro folds in the schist. And that's producing crenulation cleavage. If that developed even more, all of these would plating mineral will become parallel and you develop a full cleavage that way. So this is a nice example of development of crenulation cleavage. End on, it looks ripply. You can see there these kind of ripples through the rock. So this is how you would identify crenulation cleavage in schist in the field. Either you can see the nice ripples side on or the kind of ripply surface if you see it end on.